What's up, guys? It's your boy Black Rue back in the building. It's you in to go sing. Let's get it. And it goes Saint in the building. Black Rue investing. Let's go. Who's this producer? Best believe it was Black Rue investing. With your money, you ain't gotta be guessing. Prophets is what we manifest. So we binge on a black who invested. Best believe it was black who invested. Got course in this race, we ain't resting. We got stocks, we got crypto with a blessing. So thank God for that black who invested. Best believe it was black who invested. My man, Indigo. All right, guys. So you can catch me on the Gentleman of Crypto show. Um, uh, King and Zay have been in the crypto game for about five years or more. They've been in for a while, actually. I think since like maybe like 2013. You can catch me on their channel, Gentlemen of Crypto. You can catch me on the Benzinga YouTube. Benzinga provides some of the greatest stock news for companies like TD Ameritrade, Webull, um, Robinhood, amongst others. Um, right below in the description there you'll have the times where you'll see me on those shows but today we're going to talk dag and and your boy your boy is like this every morning waking up looking at dad yeah buddy almost hit a, a triple double out there y'all i'm telling you every morning i look at dag i'm like that boy like <clears throat> you see this right here, 11 cents. If we come over here and take a look at it on Trading View, um, it's at oversold or overbought, excuse me. It's at overbought, but um, I think it's going to continue because we have an upcoming catalyst. They have a event this week, this weekend to be specific. Saturday at 8 p.m. Pacific time, I think, is when it's starting. Eight, I'm, excuse me, again. Saturday at 8 a.m. Pacific time, going all the way to 9 p.m. Pacific time. Um, a big whole, like, Constellation Wallapalooza. And if you guys don't know what Constellation is, check out some of my past videos. Um, they have their own Layer Zero, just to get into it a little bit you'll still have to check out the past videos they have their own layer zero blockchain kind of like a polka dot and they have their own exchange called the lattice lattice exchange where they actually launch la launch pads and um actually launch companies to be on their blockchain and besides that they're also doing work with the u.s government um, they have a letter of support from the Secretary of Defense and the U.S. Air Force. So, doing stuff with the military, very, very, very bullish on these guys. But I saw a company that was tagging them called Genico. If we come over here and look at Genico, you probably already saw it when I had it up there. Own your health. Control, monetize, and gain insights from your health data so they're actually going to be paying you for your health data now we're going to get into this pretty deep um they have a little video a seven minute video that i love and we're going to go into that and i'm going to talk about this guys and it's going to sound like i'm not bullish but i'm really bullish this the thing that we have to know as consumers if they're asking us for our data and they're willing to pay us 10 to five thousand dollars i'm sorry a thousand to five thousand dollars for the data it's worth way 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 more than that um but we'll get into that as we watch this video on these guys i think ultimately their service is going to be great but let's let's just get into it right quick let's watch the video the sound is already up and I'm going to stop periodically through this and just let you guys know different things I like or dislike. On a daily basis, one third of the world's generated data, roughly 400 exabytes, is healthcare based. At Genico, one third of the world's generated data is healthcare based. Just think about that. One third of the 
world's data is healthcare based. Let's just move on. So already right there, we know it's lucrative because a third of the world's data is healthcare data. We believe in two core principles. One, that every user should benefit from their health data. And two, that everyone should have full control over this data. So how can users benefit from their own health data? They can gain personalized health insights and they can expect financial compensation for leasing it to entities that wish to analyze it. What does it... So we're actually going to give financial compensation for entities that wish to uh, use our data, which before with Google and different things like that, um, they're just, we're giving away our data for free, basically. Um, but understand that there's a two-sided deal to this. Um, if you're getting paid for giving your data up, Geneco is also getting paid for sharing your data. So know that if you're getting paid for it, they're probably getting paid even tons, 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 tons more, right? But um, just understand, regardless of HIPAA laws and all these different um, rules, your data, when you come down to the whole granular, like legal bit of it, once it's out there, they may be able to use it for something that you may not have thought of, okay? So let's let's continue, and more on that later. More on that later. What does it mean to control your own health data? It means each user should be able to securely store, delete, or lease their data to businesses wishing to analyze it. Cool. So how does Genico do this? We pay users to upload their data, and then we make sense of it. Users can upload their data in exchange for true personalized health, wellness, and product recommendations. Jennyco's customized mobile application and reports can tell users the best foods to eat, what cream to buy for their skin, what exercises to do, how much sleep they need, and... So, this is very cool because um, I know this one show I was listening to was talking about this today. The BMI, right? The Body Mass Index. We already know that does not work for black people, doesn't work for certain minorities, doesn't work for certain weird body types. You know, I mean, even if you are a member of the majority... BMI is one of the like most outdated things ever. All right. Now, if they continue to gather people's data that are actually getting paid for their data, it's not like Google where they're just taking it from you for free and profiting off of it. At least you're getting paid for it. So they can gather all these data points and really be able to provide you with um, food, exercises, face cream, and... Um, sleep patterns that are the best for you. But notice also at, at the same time here, you are being marketed to because people care about their skin, people care about sleep, people care about looking good, but these are good things. Moving on. More Insurance companies have estimated that all healthcare outcomes are 40% generated by genetics and 60% by lifestyle, nutrition, smoking, exercise, etc. Another big benefit to users will be personalized drug recommendations. Medical doctors will be available via telemed to assist users in prescribing the types of drugs that may have better outcomes for them based on their health. So it's interesting that they use a black man here. Because um, when you just really think about these studies and the studies that they do on data, um, I know Facebook just had a thing right now um, where they're trying to, they're using Oasis Network, Rose, to do this uh, survey on Instagram with minorities to they say assess fairness or whatever not i think that's all a bunch of garbage i think it's to improve their ai in like gathering minority data and hence they show a black man if you can improve like the way that medicine medicine works for minorities different types of cultures like how much data do you think they have on Japanese people or Chinese people or Tibetan people? Like, you know what I mean? Like, ooh, like how many Tibetan people are going to be, like, a member of an American, like, freaking study on medicine? You know what I mean? Like, um, just, like, think of just the randomest culture that's probably just not going to be available for an American study of a test on medicine. So, um this can be cool and prevent and in being able to provide drugs for those people but you know of course a lot of people may prefer um homeopathic 
ways of going at it and natural ways of going at it. And there's nothing wrong with that. But just this this is a benefit. Health record and genetic data. Users may also participate in paid studies and share outcome data for things like cancer treatments that can improve overall public health. The massive popularity of direct-to-consumer DNA and lab testing companies like 23andMe, Ancestry.com, LabCorp, and more proves that consumers are hungry for information on their own genetics and biomarkers and the valuable insights that can be uncovered about their personalized health. <laughs> and this is, again, another kind of being marketed, too. And uh, this is this is just, I am bullish on this, but I have to point this out. Um, 23andMe, Ancestry.com, and LabCorp, these companies can do things with your DNA. Like, these companies, like Richard Branson, who I think runs 23andMe, he's not just taking, He's you're not just paying him money just for him to tell you you're 20 percent this or 40 percent that these people are using your data and doing something with it i'm guaranteeing you that it's more than you they're getting more from your data than you just paying them the 60 dollars or what, however much it costs for you to do your little ancestry.com thing they are getting more from your data than that so understand that they are doing more with your data than that so um, this is not just something they're doing so it, oh, people can just find out where they're from. They are doing something with this data. What they're doing with it, what they're using it for, we do not know. But clearly it's something that's a loophole in the HIPAA laws or whatever. Because they're not just doing this for us to figure out that we're 20% or 40% this or that. They're doing something with it. Okay? So... I just wanted to point that out. That doesn't mean that I'm not bullish on this because I am. But just know that if you're giving up your data, even to a company like Jenny Code, it's going to pay you for it. They're doing something with it. Okay? And wellness. It is well known that users are much more likely to change their behavior, particularly around nutrition, if given scientifically validated information. Not only are the insights gained from genetic and biomarker data valuable to consumers, but corporations are willing to pay a high price for this information. According to a 2019-2020 study by E&Y, McKinsey, and Trillion Health, a health record including genomic and electronic health record data is worth anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000 per patient. Clearly, a new monetization, ownership, and insight model is needed for personal health care data that is trustless, transparent, and benefits both the contributor and the corporate user. With and this is cool because at least they are paying you for it. And, you know, let's just say that they're up and up with it, what they're doing with your data, which we know they're not. Like, they're probably going to do some extra stuff with it that you just don't know. Um, at least it's better than this woman here. Let's let, let Black, Black Root just take you on a little bit of a history lesson. I don't know if you guys know about Henrietta Lacks, okay? Let me tell you about Henrietta Lacks. The entire world owes Henrietta Lacks, especially those that have ever experienced cancer. Entire world owes this lady uh, a solid. So, in the 1950s, in 1951... She went to the Johns Hopkins Hospital, which was one of the few hospitals that would treat poor black people, right? So what they figured out about her sales were that they were very freaking unique. Her sales were unlike any of the others that they've ever seen. Where other sales would die, her sales would double every 20 to 24 hours. So they, these cells, they call them the HeLa cells after Henrietta, HeLa, Henrietta, Henrietta, Henrietta Lacks. Um, they're used to study the effects of toxins, drugs, and hormones and viruses on the growth of cancer cells without experimenting on humans. So really, really, the whole world owes her a solid, okay? Um, so unfortunately they could not help Henrietta and she passed away at 31, but they just took her cells and they didn't give her anything. They like, she didn't even know 
no one knew they were using her cells. Her family didn't find out till later, and like much, much later. And I believe they have not been compensated, compens compensated for it. So um, I really believe that her family deserves to be compensated for it. Later on, they go down and say, oh, they didn't sell it or profit from it or whatever. But who cares? Like, someone should prof should like compensate this lady for using her cells and, and like, like, yeah, I, I, I think the lady or her family, at least, since she's long gone. But thank you, Henrietta. Someone should compensate her family for her unique, very unique cells and being able to use her unique cells. Um, so Jenny, Jenny Company is at least paying people for for this, even though they're probably gonna make tons, 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 tons more, more on it. Of course, it's a business, right? But um, shame that this woman's family didn't get compens compensated for for the use of her very unique cells. Um, so that's just a little, little cautionary tale there. But let's continue on to this video. With Jennyco's new patent pending Web 3.0 exchange platform, not only do contributors gain valuable insights about things they can do to improve their health and nutrition, but they can also earn additional cryptocurrency rewards along the way. Jennyco also offers a mobile app slash messaging service and wallet to collect and share curated wellness information, real-time sensor IoT data, digital monetization, and consumer lifestyle recommendations, a truly immersive experience. To get started, Jennyco contributors can easily upload their genetic or other biomarker data, add data from the Apple Health app, fill out questionnaires, order various at-home test kits, and more. Our advanced... So at-home test kits, just like 23andMe, right? And like I said, Richard wasn't... They're, they're not just doing that to for their health or for a little, like, measly $100 or whatever you pay to get your your healthcare data done. They're doing something else that dang on data, okay? If they're looking for something, I don't know. If they're just using the data com to compile it for some reason, they have to be looking for something. They have to be using it for something. It's not just you're just paying a hundred dollars and that's enough for these pro these companies that are publicly traded. Somebody knows something about what they're doing with it. Black Roo doesn't, but uh, just so you know, it's not. Just so you know, like these companies are making big, big, big profit on it. Or otherwise, there wouldn't even be Jenny Co. Would not even need to be around, right? So, um. You know, again, I, I'm bullish on this, but I just want people to know if you're giving your data, just understand, like, just understand that you're giving your data. Blockchain platform offers ultimate decentralized data privacy and HIPAA compliance and uses AI and machine learning algorithms to grind through. Okay, and despite the HIPAA compliance, they're, they're probably using your data for something else. But good thing AI and machine learning, the more data that gets put into it, the more and better it can get to to serve people, as in like like we were talking about with the uh, drugs that could be applied to you know minorities and different cultures or different people that don't fit a BMI or suggestions for food or sleep for minorities or people who aren't normally surveyed, things like that. That is a pretty cool piece through the data and present precision outcomes and insights matching user requests. We pay you for this data. In addition to the primary payments for uploading your health data, Jennyco's unique monetization model allows corporate users to request your permission for access to your data for additional compensation. Every time you agree, you receive more compensation. Jennyco Exchange contributor. So there, at least they say like, okay, we'll ask your permission for certain things, but you know, I think at the end of the day though, like with the 23 and me, and stuff like that, I don't think we'll ever know, like, I, I'm not sure that we'll ever know what they're compiling the data for, what they're using the data for, ultimately. But at least this model seems like they're saying they will, tr they will contact you if they need it again, and we know that there's still a possibility that they won't. 
but at least that exists there in their model. ...own their health data and receive rewards for participating in studies and sharing their data and outcomes. Even physicians that contribute data will benefit financially. Companies gain access to valuable genomic, biomarker, and healthcare information with real insights. The result? Better informed R&D decisions and strategy directions, new product creation, and increased personalized product sales. The Genico Exchange will be governed by... So, they, they kind of gave it to you a little bit there. Um, your genomic information is literally like your human, the human genome, the human like DNA strands, okay? So, they're going to use it down to that level. Um, who knows if there's a Henrietta Lacks person out there that has some like cells that do some amazing type of things. I'm sure there's somebody out there like that. Um, who knows how that can change the world, right? But um, at the same time, uh, you know, what are they really going to use it for? So I'm, I'm bullish on this, I promise. But, uh, you know, it's always like, what is the data ultimately used for? By a DAO, or Decentralized Autonomous Organization, the Genico DAO will be used to manage assets, build protocols, vote on community matters, and create niche factions for interests like healthcare outcome data collection from a doctor's office via an NFT. Here's how it works. The Genico Exchange will utilize the JCO token running on Constellation's fee fast, and infinitely scalable hypergraph network. The JCO token will be required by all parties to transact within Genico Exchange ecosystem. Tokenomics have been designed to ensure that as the user base and institutional demand for healthcare data and data mining grows within our ecosystem, individuals are increasingly incented to keep sharing their up-to-date healthcare data. Large companies will use the Genico Exchange as it will provide a cost-effective way to obtain rich and continually updated health, product, and genetic data, along with potential token compensation to capture information. So like he said, it'll provide a cost-effective way for them to provide to get data. So Genico is probably going to undercut the people who have to do uh, studies by themselves by actually asking you to just come and like give your data to them, not give it to them because they're going to pay you, right? But, um, you know, they pay you for giving your data and they can offer it at a discount than what someone has to do with normal study where they have to be like, okay, oh man, now we got to find like, you know, uh, say if they're looking for minorities, okay, now we gotta find like a black male, you know, this age in the Midwest with this type of like they have to actually go hire people to go get the certain, uh, um, you know, target group they want, and then when they get that target group, they gotta try to pay them, and then that target group has to come in on a day, and they have to have someone call you and. Like all of this other stuff, they can undercut all of that because the data is already being fed in by you. So it's and and it's kind of decentralized in a way too because you don't necessarily they don't necessarily have to tie the data to you as a person now because the data is just out there and they'll just like okay let me get the data set for you know. 30 to 40 year old black men from Detroit. Boom. Okay, right? Or like I was saying, like, let me get the data for boom, like 20 year old Tibetan people. Or, you know, just some 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 obscure data set that they wouldn't be able to normally find, like, you know, in America or anywhere like that would be really hard for them to find. Okay, so. Nation, Genico offers an AI-driven mobile app, at-home testing, surveys, and services that link directly to cryptocurrency, JCO, micropayments for the user. For any corporate partner, Genico offers a white-label, end-to-end healthcare testing solutions and data analysis suite, and a portal for data mining powered by AI machine learning algorithms. For individuals contributing their healthcare data, the JCO token is required to direct where they want their data to be mined. A user staking their JCO to a pool is exercising their choice to contribute their data under the conditions set out by that pool, and they are incentivized to do so by the JCO tokens offered as rewards for doing so. The JCO token can also be used to purchase additional knowledge and services in the Genico Exchange ecosystem, including laboratory tests, genetically personalized diet plans, nutritional and skincare reports, cannabis synergies, and recommendations. So it's cool they're adding in skincare and cannabis. It's cannabis, like, I, I don't smoke, I never have, but... You know, some people do use cannabis for alternative methods of like, 
pain killing and stuff like that. And that'd be that's pretty cool. Um, also, uh, I just wanted to make it clear I'm not being racist to Tibetans or anything like that. I there's a reason I said Tibetans because um, at least I I remember this hearing this in a in, from a show um, that Tibetans like living high in the mountains there they have a certain gene that allows them to live that far up on the mountains. And, you know, being able to, like, take in, you know, only that limited amount of air in the mountains that Tibetans are blessed with this certain gene and only certain people have this gene that Tibetans have. That's why I kind of use people, the people of Tibet. So I hope no one thinks I'm being, like, racist or anything like that. So moving on. Prescribed pharmaceuticals, telemed and dietitian consults, consumer product recommendations, and much more. The Jennyco Exchange Token Treasury, Organization, Fund Tracking, and Token Economics will be managed by the DAO. The team behind Jennyco consists of acknowledged experts in the fields of human genetics, healthcare data, artificial intelligence, blockchain, crypto distributed apps, and consumer healthcare. The JCO token will launch on Constellation's Lattice Launchpad in quarter two of 2022. Keep an eye on the Jennyco socials for more information and launch updates. Cool, Jennyco, okay. Really, really high on that. I think it can do a lot of good and get a lot of obscure data sets to come and people can make a really big advantage. Um, doctors can make a really good advantage of that data set. But at the same time, people understand that, like, regardless of HIPAA laws and all this other stuff, at the end of the day, we don't necessarily know what the data is being used for, just like 23andMe, right? It's not just that you're paying that freaking $100. Good old Richard is probably using your data for something else, who knows what. But uh, for darn sure, it's something else and something lucrative, okay? Um, I think Jenny Cole is very cool. And it's another reason for me to be really bullish on... Um, um, on constellation and i'm going to watch that uh that conference this week um and we'll go live and i'll give you guys uh my opinion and we can rap about it in the um in the live stream guys so be on the lookout for that on saturday and definitely come over here guys and check out some of my past videos i want to know what you guys think about this about the data what do you think they're using the data for um what do you think those 23s and me's are using the data for um are you bullish on dag are you bullish on Genico? are you bullish on any other other any of the other launch pad projects like geo jam or um alchemy um let me know what you think or double dice let me know what you guys think um thank you guys so much for watching have a good one peace